I was optimistic about Michael Clayton because the trailer had some really brilliant trailer lines which are just enough to get you intrigued but don't really give everything away. So I thought maybe they'll bring that level of cunning to the film. And uh, indeed the storytelling in the film does some enjoyably loopy stuff and is quite interesting to get your brain around. Uh, but at the end of the day it's fairly over long, padded out and a bit disappointing. The film strangely contradictory in its methods in that you had to pay close attention to work out what was going on which is really good uh, but then scenes played out for far too long and things were and in the end you were bashed over the head with them and it didn't seem to credit you with any intelligence at all which was a bit bizarre the other big problem it was it's all about Michael Clayton he's the living name of the film and the character is poorly introduced and you're told what he's like rather than shown what he's like and that just doesn't cut it for me criteria which I always try to address as a reviewer is whether or not the film lives up to what we were led to believe it would bring us. Uh, in this case the answer is no. These big red letters saying the truth can be adjusted doesn't deliver on that at all. It's good if you're interested in certain funny interesting ways of storytelling in cinema. I enjoyed it for that but overall a dissatisfying film that hinges too much on, a, on an almost religious coincidence. Not very happy really. We were shown a lot, but could see very little.